as Union forces from eastern North Carolina linked up with Sherman's Grand Army that had marched into the state from the south at Goldsboro, another federal force entered western North Carolina. Moving into North Carolina from Tennessee, some 4,000 Union cavalrymen under Major General George Stoneman struck Boone and then Mount Airy before moving into western Virginia. The raiders tore up railroad tracks, burned bridges, depots, and factories, destroying Confederate goods and supplies while terrifying the local populations. His goal, in the words of Ulysses S. Grant, was to destroy but not to fight battles, really to work to limit and eliminate the infrastructure the Confederacy needed to continue to prosecute the war in those waning days of 18, uh, early 1865. Re-entering North Carolina several days later, the Federal horsemen struck Salem on April 10 and then moved on Salisbury to free Union soldiers being held at the Confederate prisoner of war camp there. April 12, 1865 was the date of the biggest battle of the entire raid. Stoneman's Raiders arrived outside of Salisbury, essentially overlooking what is today Catawba College outside of Salisbury, and encountered a Confederate force drawn up along Grants Creek in defense of, of Salisbury. A uh, sharp little fight broke out, um, resulted in a battle that took place over the course of uh, an hour, hour and a half that, uh, that spring morning, and resulted in the capture of Salisbury with Stoneman's Raiders finally outflanking uh, those positions. Unfortunately for the prisoners, Stoneman's goal of freeing them at Salisbury was not accomplished, as except for a handful of sick and wounded, they had been moved. Stoneman had sought to redeem a failed attempt at freeing prisoners at Andersonville, Georgia the year before when he himself had been captured. At Salisbury, the Federal Raiders did, however, capture and destroy a large amount of Confederate military and medical supplies stored in the town. By late April, the horsemen had stormed through much of western part of North Carolina, including the towns of Statesville, Hickory, Hendersonville, and Asheville. So Stoneman's raid, as it progressed through North Carolina, had a, a, a large impact on the, the western part of the state that really hadn't seen the war up close and personal before. Uh, the raiders touched on 21 counties in North Carolina, many of which had never seen Yankee raiders up close, many of which had only felt the war through letters, through, uh, through the, the deaths or wounds of loved ones, but have not seen any kind of military maneuver before. Stoneman's raiders changed that. Over a two month period, Stoneman's raid covered some 2,000 miles in four states, making it one of the longest military raids in American history. Although it did not have a significant tactical impact on the war, it had a lasting effect on the towns and people it touched. Numerous people throughout western North Carolina saw the loss of food, saw the loss of, of horses, saw the, 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 the destruction of personal property like fence rails that went up in the smoke of campfires. And I think they would tell you that Stoneman's raid really did do what the band suggested and drive old Dixie down because they made it so difficult on the population to recover from this terrible war because they had seen it up close and personal when Stoneman's raiders came riding through.